Black Ops file discovered in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Far Cry 6 to be announced in Ubisoft Forward, and we got a new Battle Royale game from Ubisoft. Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Top Gaming News where we talk about new game announcements, new leaks and so much more. So let's just dive in. Hyperscape is the next game coming from Ubisoft and it's a battle royale game. Yay! New battle royale. The game will be free to play game and you can only play this game in the beta testing phase if you get the game via Twitch drops which is similar to that of Valorant. Now the game is very fast paced, similar to that of Apex Legends which I like and then you drop in this futuristic world with a secondary weapon, again similar to that of Warzone, I'm just trying to make some similarities here and then you do the basic stuff that is looting but in here when you loot the guns you don't find attachments of any kind and the only way to upgrade your weapons in terms of attachments or magazines is if you can find a copy of that gun and that will automatically upgrade your gun. So some guns have the next level as a attachment like a scope, some guns have the next level as a mag, extended mag or an extra mag and it depends upon what guns and what levels do you get if you find the first copy, the second copy. So I think the more we play the game the more we understand how it is, maybe we'll get an article soon about these upgrades that we get for each guns. Now in addition to that you also have abilities or they're calling hacks that you can use and also when you die you become this ghost where you can just go around with the team and try to ping the enemy team and help your teammates get those skills and when an enemy team dies they create this restore point that you can be in and you can get revived by your teammates. Now I'm gonna make this very bizarre comparison. If you guys have watched Rawan, the way he just resurrects himself from that ground like slowly the items are picking up and he's forming Rawan again, that reviving kind of mechanic is similar in uh, Hyperscape as well. I know this is a stupid comparison but I'm just, I'm just trying to make some comparisons, I'm sorry about that. Now since you can only play this game via Twitch drops and it is not available in India right now, it's kind of sad that we cannot test the game out. But since it's a free game, well maybe you can wait a little bit more, like similar to that of Valorant when Valorant Twitch drops were happening, after a month or a little bit more than a month since the beta testing started, the game got launched. So maybe Hyperscape will have the same kind of fate. Well I'm not very much into battle royale games right now, there's too many of those and I don't want to play any more but this looks kind of interesting. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Will you guys try it out? Who knows? I might. Call of Duty Warzone brought a new mode called Juggernaut and this one, this one is interesting. You are in this trio mode of Warzone which is the normal battle royale game but in this one you will have this Juggernaut which is dropping by very early and every single one of these guys will be able to see where that juggernaut is. So fight through the way in to get that juggernaut and once you get the juggernaut, well you are an unstoppable force. I mean you can be killed but you are still an unstoppable force for a few amount of time unless you are being bombarded with rocket launches and grenades that you might get taken down very easily but once you are taken down, another juggernaut will be dropped and everybody will be able to see that location and it keeps on continuing and continuing until the normal battle royale uh, rules apply and then you kill off everybody and be the last squad standing. Now this is a very interesting kind of uh, mode that Call of Duty is adding but unfortunately it ends tomorrow so if you guys haven't tried it out, do try it out right now. But I know that a lot of people are actually very pissed with Call of Duty Modern Warfare right now because the game size is 220 GB. That's insanely high from the initial hard disk space requirement so that was 175 GB. So I don't know what they're doing, it seems like the game is not compressed enough to be below 175 GB which should have been the case. I wonder what happens because maybe in the future we'll get more updates which we will. What happens if the game crosses 300 GB? I mean they have to do something to compress this game even more further so that they can drop below 175 GB. At least you can do that because nowadays games like this if, if it is this big i don't know how the future of games are maybe we have to just buy like 10 tb of hard disk now do you guys play call of duty modern warfare or warzone let me know in the comments below because i don't like playing much battle royale games so i'd rather play multiplayer mode even though the game size is 220 gb and i'm somehow balancing the hard disk space because right now i got like 50 gb available right now it is it is very hard to keep up or to save space in that in that disk well Ubisoft Forward is coming up this weekend 
on Sunday and definitely Ubisoft is revealing a lot of games. What I want to know is Beyond Good and Evil 2, which they haven't talked about ever since they showed that gameplay demo, they have not talked about ever since then. So I don't know what's happening with Beyond Good and Evil 2 because I'm very much excited for that game. But one speculation that people are going wild on is Far Cry, that is the next Far Cry game being Far Cry 6. And the reason for this is because Giancarlo Esposito said that he's working on a big video game that he cannot reveal the name of. And people immediately rushed to the conclusion that he is in Far Cry 6. Now if you don't know Giancarlo, he has played villains in shows like Breaking Bad and even Mandalorian. So I guess people are so much fond of his work that they want him to become the villain in Far Cry. Now to be honest, I would also want him to be in Far Cry because Far Cry definitely needs a better villain. The last time Far Cry had a great villain was Far Cry 3 with Was. Because the character of Was was so different, it was so insane and people loved him way much more than the protagonist himself. Now even Troy Baker tried to be a good villain in Far Cry 4 but the character of Troy Baker was different so I think a lot of people love Was more than anyone else. So now we gotta see if Far Cry 6 even exists, I mean if they're even planning on Far Cry 6. We have to see if Giancarlo is actually the villain and if he plays it well enough. What do you guys think about another Far Cry game? Are you guys into Far Cry games? Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. My favorite Far Cry game is Far Cry 3. I did try Far Cry 4 but it was not so good as compared to Far Cry 3 so Far Cry 3 all the way. Now let's head back a bit towards Warzone again because it seems like we have a new audio leak in Warzone that confirms about Black Ops and its events. There are various audio clips that has been extracted from Modern Warfare which has the name Woods written on it and it's basically voice lines of any normal player when you play in Warzone. For example, when you take out some enemy, the player says some particular line. Those kind of lines is what these audio clips are. But its name has Woods mentioned on it. So people are speculating that Woods might be the next playable character in Modern Warfare, maybe Season 5? On top of that, another audio clip has been found in Warzone where the announcer of the game who says go to the gulag or go inside a circle, that announcer says a line. That is Ascension 7, 15, 1, 2, 19 and so on which is the same line that the woman said in the intro of Black Ops. Ascension 7 15, 1, 2. And these sound clips also say the name Warkuta, which is the same place where Reznov was imprisoned and it's also the same place where Mason was brainwashed. Now when these type of things comes out, it's so much interesting to know because it seems like this can kind of tie up to the next Call of Duty game that has been rumored being Black Ops Reboot based on Cold War that people are speculating and this will be the perfect match between Modern Warfare and Black Ops and probably the first time that Modern Warfare and Black Ops are uniting in the same universe. Now if this is the case, they might release Woods as a playable character and then later down the line, they will release a new Call of Duty trailer being Black Ops Reboot. I think that could be a great strategy. What do you guys think about this audio clips that I mentioned which kind of suggest about the new Black Ops game? Let me know in the comments below. Crisis Remaster, which was supposed to be launching that trailer a few days ago, has been delayed. Before the trailer even got released, the trailer was leaked online and people, oh, they did not like that trailer. Apparently the game looks exactly the same as the first game, there is not much difference to be seen and that's why people are complaining a hell lot more about it and to be honest, when you actually see it, it does not look that much different. The textures are better and the lighting has improved a bit but it is not big of an improvement and I think that is why people are very much mad about it because we have seen remasters in the past and they actually look much better. But in my opinion, remasters, but in my opinion, the visual look of a remastered game are very subjective. Sometimes they do look good, sometimes they don't look that much good. Now here's the thing, the game came out way back, like 2007. It's a 13 years old game and they're trying to remake that game so that people can enjoy with better textures and better visuals and better graphics. And with the trailer getting leaked and people having these hateful comments, they're trying to go back and polish even more to make the game refined even more. But I don't know how the outcome will look like. I think people expect a hell lot more with this remaster of Crisis. I mean, you cannot make Crisis remaster look like Crisis 2. It is just not that much possible because Crisis and Crisis 2, they look so much different. Although I get the point that Crisis remaster trailer looks not so much different than Crisis and they gotta do something on it. 
Now, in my opinion, I think they should have taken this time to make a new game altogether, like maybe some kind of spin-off to Crisis. What happens in the distant future after Crisis 3 or Crisis 2 actually? What happened in the distant future? Where the world exists? What happens to these nano suits and the aliens? I would love to see that, to be honest. Well, I'm really much excited to see Ubisoft forward. I hope Assassin's Creed Valhalla gets a new gameplay. I hope we have Beyond Good and Evil 2, maybe Far Cry 6, but I need much more game. This week, we also have Horizon Zero Dawn coming to PC that is on August 7th with an amazing price of only $1,099. The game was a huge success when it came out and I cannot wait for people to try this game out. Even though I'm going to play this game on PS4 because I have this game right now and I'm not going to buy it on Steam of course, but I would love to see your guys reaction for this very game. Horizon Zero Forbidden West which is a sequel to this game is coming exclusively to PS5 for now which is a sad thing but maybe in the future they can release the game in PC. What if the exclusivity only stands for one year for Sony and then later on they might release it on PC? Because if they are releasing Horizon Zero Dawn on PC, they should be releasing Forbidden West the sequel to PC as well, right? But are you guys excited for Horizon Zero Dawn? Have you guys bought the game yet? Let me know in the comments below. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Top Gaming News. Let me know in the comments below what you think and hit the like button because that always helps us out a lot. And do not forget to subscribe to see some more awesome videos like this in the future. My name is Gimin Manis and I'm gonna see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.